Hey everybody, welcome back to DIY Boom Boxes in Texas. My name is Phil, your host. Okay, here's that completed project that I was telling you guys about uh, last video. This is the one that has the switch that's inside, the audio switch, where you can switch between um, audio input or the Bluetooth itself. And uh, I'm going to show you how everything works. Now, this one, I didn't put any kind of decorations on it because the customer, uh, this color here is close to his logo, and he's going to put his own company logo on there for his business. This video is also to show him how it works. So hello to everybody out there in Minnesota and all over the world. And, of course, here comes Mr. Duke. Hello, Duke. <laughs> I can't have a video without Duke. I know there's some of you out there who wouldn't even watch my channel if it wasn't for Duke. Right. Yes. It's Saturday afternoon, about 5.30. Duke's been having a good day. Um, tell you a little fun fact about Duke. On Saturdays when I'm off my regular job, because I only do these boxes part-time, as my second job, I have a window in the dining room. And right outside the window, there's these bushes. And on Saturday mornings, I open the window for Duke to sit in the window seal. And these birds come and like to mess around the bushes and everything. And Duke just loves watching those birds. Boy, he just sits there and he looks at them and just stares at them. And he wishes he could get a hold of those birds. That's uh, Duke's entertainment there. Okay, Duke, you going to let me uh, tell everybody about the thing here. Let me go ahead and while you're looking at Duke, go ahead and get this video ready to load up here. Okay. You approve, Duke? Hmm? Okay, you're going to have to move for just a minute. Or can I get you to come over here, Leah? 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 So stay right there. Stay right there. Okay, now what we have here, uh, we have dual speaker set up. You okay over there, Duke? There's the second speaker. Over here, on the back, nothing real fancy. We went ahead and put the battery charger. I've got some hot glue on there. On the back here, that's where the battery plugs in. Because over here on the side is where I put the USB port, I mean here, and the voltage meter right there. And this is our audio input right here. And we're going to use my MP3 player in just a minute if I can find out what I did with the cord. Okay, there's the cord over there. And uh, try that out. So... Now, gonna, I guess I'll go ahead and show you the inside real quick. I'm going to go ahead and take the lid completely off and set it over here so you can see better. Now, let's see if you can see right here on the inside here. And you can see all the wiring and everything. There's the battery. This is the switch that I showed you last time. And right now the button is out. So it's allowing the Bluetooth to come in. And you press the button right there in to switch it over from the Bluetooth to the other thing there. And I'm going to put the lid back on. And over here we have our um, preamp. So you have volume control here. You have um, treble controls and bass controls. And you kind of got to fine tune it to whatever sound that you like. I have it tuned in pretty good for rock and roll and Pink Floyd. But depending on the type of music you like, that's what you would do there. But again, uh, what you want to do is plug in your MP3 player or your iPod. You can plug a portable CD player in here. Anything that has an audio jack, heck, you can play, plug a Walkman in there and play some tapes if you had some tapes around. And I'll show you how to do that in a minute. So we're going to do the Bluetooth first. I got a little nick there. And uh, but anyway, that's the switch right there. And all you would do is open the lid and just press the switch right there. And I'm going to show you how to do that in just a minute. So I'm going to go ahead and put the lid back on. Just like so. There we go. Go ahead and close that up. Just like that. And we'll go ahead and turn it on. That should connect. That should be. That means it, that sound right there means the Bluetooth has connected. And let's go ahead and crank this up and see how it sounds. We've got a commercial. Oh, I don't have any audio. I'm going to press the button. Hmm. I don't... There we go. I'll be right back.
Bluetooth. Now, I'm going to show you how to plug in the audio. So go ahead, and what you would do is get your device. I'm going to use my MP3 player in this case. Go ahead and plug it in there. And then go ahead and plug it in right there. Then what you do is you would open up the box right here, and you press the switch here on the top. Now we've switched over to that mode. A little fuzz hanging off right there. All right, now I've been listening to a podcast called Tales of the Texas Rangers. It's from Old Time Radio Show. So let's go ahead and turn it on. Find out if you're telling the truth. Well, go on, Chet. How'd you get into Houston on Tuesday? Tell me, right? You may have you just the audio a little bit. Why would I go back there to take it? There's a 12 miles closer to Houston. You might have been in town that morning. Then you'd have got on there. Oh, so right now we're playing the MP3 player. And what's taking a bus got to do with this? Playing the old-time radio show. That's why it doesn't sound real clear. I don't have a lot of music on here. I can go ahead and switch over to a show called The Love Doctors that I listen to. Turn The Love Doctors on. A disgusting theater. It's <laughs> 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 another radio show I listen to. Well, I'm playing the MP3 player right now. Well, it, it, it was a porn theater. That's yeah. where it was. It wasn't a porn <laughs> theater. It, it was, was a real theater. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and turn that off and unplug it. Now, if you want to go back to the Bluetooth, what you have to do is open the box back up, press the button, turn the bass back up a little bit, and you can go back to your music. Anyway, just like that, press the button, turn it off. And of course, over here, this button here is going to. I got some more hot glue. I use a lot of hot glue, and sometimes it sticks on the back there. You go ahead and turn this on and off for your voltage meter and for this and the charger is just going to plug in right here in the back and you don't have to turn it on or off the charge the charger is automatic and you'll see how that works matter of fact i have a charger right here i'll show you uh, you're going to get the same charger here this is a die hard charger that i like to use for my lead acid batteries and it's going to come with different adapters like these here you can use for your car i would use unplug that and this plug is going to plug right here right into your charger and then just plug this in the wall you're going to have a yellow light when it's charging it's going to turn green when it's done and it's also a maintainer so you can just leave it plugged in if you want to maintain the battery over a long period of time but you don't have to leave it plugged in and when you're done just go ahead and unplug it and that's it this is my personal charger you're going to get one that's brand new in the box and that's what I send with all my uh, lead acid battery projects anyway so uh, there you go Hope you're going to enjoy it. It's going to look really good with your business. And everyone else who out there would like me to make you one, I'd be happy to make you one. Just um, send me a message. I'll send you my email, and we'll talk privately about prices and things like that. I don't want to talk about prices on here because that doesn't, doesn't matter right now. We're here to show off the box. And So thank you so much for watching, everybody. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos. got more projects coming up real soon. Uh, more how-to videos. This is kind of a both how-to video because the last video I showed you the audio switch and this video is showing you how it works so if you wanted to have something you can plug up in here like a cd player mp3 player um, some of you out there have ipods um, i have an mp3 player because i like to load up uh, my mp3 files that i listen to from my computer at work it's easier to listen to my phone because i want like to keep my phone out and this i just keep in my pocket it work works really good just have my headphones right here and things like that. So thank you everybody for watching. And I'm going to try to get this video up tonight. And y'all have a great weekend. Uh, Super Bowl is tomorrow. So enjoy the Super Bowl. All of you are going to watch it. And again, I can do sports teams. You guys have seen me. So you go through my videos. You can see I do sports teams. Any team that you want. Or any kind of design that you want. Just like this one. So thank you everybody for watching. And uh, I don't know where Duke went. So I guess we'll see Duke next time. And I'll see y'all next time. Thanks for watching.